Hey guys, it's Miss K Chris and welcome to my channel. My experience is that I have been trying to apply for the job of a flight attendant since I was 19 and I finally got my dream come true as a flight attendant for an international airline when I become 27. The most wanted position in the flight attendant industry which is the Qatar Airways cabin crew position. So if you are applying for that, then this video is just right for you. This video is going to talk about my tips or the best practices that I have learned through my experience for the first day of interview or the assessment day. So if you're interested in that, just keep on watching. Okay, first day of application for Qatar Airways Open Day. Expectations. Expect that there will be a lot of people there. Expect that they will not talk to you in a lot. Uh, they will not give you uh, much face-to-face -face time. The most that you can get is a minute or two minutes of their time. And after that, you have to wait by the end of the day for a text message or a call that you made it to the second day. So how do you make sure that you make it to the second day? Here are my tips for you. My number one tip is be there very very early to beat all those other people who are going to be there as well. You don't want to meet the interviewers when you're already hungry, tired, and stressed out, okay? You want to meet them when you are still fresh. So the best way to be there when you're still fresh is be the first one to be there, okay? I'm not exaggerating, especially if taga Pilipinas ka. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yung pila umaabot sa labas ng hotel. So make sure that you are there very, very early. So if the call time is nine, be there at six. I'm not kidding. <laughs> okay, so my next tip is make an impact or make an impact even before you are speaking to them. So how do you do this? So you will be waiting on a line, like a very long line in a very big conference room. The moment that you are on the first line, that time wherein you are going to be able to submit your CV mo, and then you'll be able to talk to them and in one to two minutes, you should be in the zone, focus. What you should do when it is your time to stand up, you have to focus, okay? wait for the interviewer to call you up it's your turn to come here because that means that you are respecting their time you are respecting that they're still doing something and they're not yet ready for you but when they give you the signal that they're ready for you be there uh, wait for that signal and when they do make sure that you give eye contact you are smiling and you are minding your posture so these three things will show an impact about you even before you started speaking to the recruiter. Again, it's eye contact, smile, and posture. My next tip is for you to mind your energy during the interview. So to mind your energy during the interview, make sure that you are happy, you are feeling happy. Of course, nini nervous ka, but you make sure that magsha shine through pa rin yung happiness mo, yung cheerfulness mo as a person. Okay? So what do I mean by that? Dapat lagi ka nakasmile. And think of happy thoughts. Sabi nga ni Peter Pan, right? So think of happy thoughts and then um, make it shine through even through even within all the nervousness that you feel. Because what we tend to do when we're nervous, we tend to have a poker face. And, <laughs> and that's not good. That's not a good first impression. Always be the one who is cheerful and keep your energy up. Okay? So just Remember or try to emulate that this is the happiest day of your life and you will be good to go. <laughs> All right. So, now you are talking to the recruiter and they will be uh, asking you just perhaps one or two questions after the formalities of how do you do today. Okay. So my tip for you is don't be afraid to be chatty. Okay. We know we are Filipinos. We are very respectable people. We try to respect other people. We try not to speak first, but this is not the time for that. Make sure that you start talking first. Like, how are you? How was your flight going here? Did you enjoy your stay so far? It's okay to be friendly like that. Don't overdo it. Just be friendly. And at the same time, when you are talking to them, they might ask you a question 
never say anything negative negative about your situation or negative about your current employer because that's a no-no you will never get the call for that or the text for that or the next day always say something positive okay like for example I I am enjoying my current career but I am looking for a place to grow as an individual as we all are right so you mga ganong klaseng banat dapat ang gawin niyo all right so that's it um, sample questions uh, sample questions to expect in the Qatar Airways open day our first day interview is just two things they will definitely just ask two things for the past years this is what they have been asking they're asking what are you doing right now or have you applied to us before so those two are the questions that you have to prepare for so prepare an answer for that in rare occasions very rare they will ask who is their ceo so that's all i know about the interview but everyone that i talk to definitely yun yung tinatanong sa kanila if this has been valuable to you and you like my tip on this video make sure that you check out my book it's right here it's called ready for takeoff where i have more extensive tips for your application you can avail it if you are in the philippines and if you are abroad you can avail it to amazon.com if you are in the philippines i have a shopee shop it's called kcris and you can also check it out on my um on my website misskcris.com so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i will see you on the next installment of this series and i will fly with you soon bye I have to um wait <laughs> Ha <laughs>